let's discuss self-defense, fitness, diet, environment, your empowerment. Hosted by your very own Oshin Bryant. What are going on? Welcome to another episode of Let's Discuss. And my focus is on you. New you resolutions. I mean, if you're going to think about it at the time this was being recorded, it's pretty much on the eve of 2024. So it's all about New Year's resolutions. But in my own focus, it's really about New You resolutions. This is supposed to be a content that you can look into, you can dissect, you can absorb at any part of any year. It's all about how you are going to go about making changes specific for you in a way that is going to leave you feeling fulfilled and feel as if to say, yes, you have created impact. Not just for yourself, for your loved ones, for this world. I'm going to ask you a question. How do you feel at this very moment in your life? Do you feel like at this time, if you are to die, you can know that your life would have been impactful. You can know that you would have lived your life to the fullest. Are you at that stage? The thing is, there exists this flow on earth where every day people will start a particular task or a particular journey towards an endeavor. Could be a physical endeavor, let's just say, towards losing weight or attaining some fitness goal. It could be a, a financial endeavor you know, putting in some measures towards ensuring that you are much more financially stable. It could be a relationship endeavor. You know, if it's a case where there are some issues in current relationships you may have, it's about fixing those issues and, you know, making your life with those fellow loved ones much more rewarding, much more wholesome. But... What exists is the many who start and not the many who endure or who are capable of enduring in finding solutions when hit with a wall or with a curveball and staying the course. And this is why, again, I am speaking about new you resolutions, a new way that you are going to think about how you're going to attack or you're going to overcome whatever challenge you may have. This is your new you, your new approach in you being able to find a solution. This is a new you, a new concept in the way how you see yourself embarking on a particular uh, journey. You know, this is a new you. Using my my own journey as an example, you know, uh, since I would have embarked on my entrepreneurial venture in creating OB Fitness, I have gone through a myriad of changes. I mean, OB Fitness started officially in 2015. So 2024 would make it nine years It's since it's, in, it's, it's conception. And as it is right now, I am, I have made changes in terms of, you know, what really is supposed to be the focus, the, what is supposed to be the impact. In the beginning of the journey, 
on the UA campus, it would have been to, you know, provide the best personal training solutions that members can have in a face-to-face -face arena. The challenges that would have been there not having a gym or being in a position where I am not supposed to be training within a given environment and um, just basically having to be at the mercy of the weather, so to speak, um, and or having to go to the UE campus early and stay up there until late, six days of, of, of every week for years. Uh, that would have been my journey at the time to get, you know, OB fitness up to that stage where in terms of the focus of being the best in the context of personal trainer face-to-face -face on the campus, that was the goal. As the years rolled on, I would have had to make some changes in my uh, targets where it shifted from being on the UA campus. Let's just say, for example, the COVID pandemic came in and it's now about having to try and ensure that I am capable of being just as impactful over the digital space. And even so, to ensure that OB Fitness as an entity can be able to stand on its own, right? And then even then, it would have been another transition into not just being so focused on financial aspects, but more so on how I'm able to leave an indelible mark on the people that come into OB Fitness, whether it be through personal training system or whatever other solution, and even to have some form of contact with what OB Fitness has to offer through a message. That then now has become the focus. And the focus is such where it is not just only within the geography of the UA campus, but now of the world. And as such, I would have to make changes in me. I have to make new knee resolutions to be able to ensure that the mission that obviously has evolved can be accomplished. I've used that, my journey, to give you a bit of an insight into what it is that is being tasked in you when we say new you resolutions. As you continue to live day by day, you will accomplish certain tasks that whether or not you would have said it before you, they are there. But in accomplishing new tasks, there has to be a new you, there has to be a new approach. Because a task that ought to be accomplished, if you do not ensure that you make these tasks accomplished in a sustainable way, then you will just be fixed on that task on a much longer time frame. And as such, that will help or that will lead to you being, you know, feeling like you are in a standstill in your life. So your, your new you has to be an ever-evolving process where every day that you wake, you have to have like a written or a driven approach towards accomplishing a task that you have set before you. All right. The thing that I want to also mention is that living the life of continuous accomplishing or accomplishment rather, or living the life of trying to be in a way uh, someone who can live in a fulfilled way is very tedious, it's very draining, and it is something that I can understand why many people who will start the process are in some way, shape, or form going to fall off because this journey can only be done by you physically. Spiritually, you may say, yes, that you're almighty. No matter which religion you're coming from, religious background you're coming from, it's also a part of your journey, but at the end of the day, it comes from within. Even if you have your family there, the 
challenges that you feel and encourage you. And that's the reason why when it comes to even the mental challenges that some people will, you know, fall into, if you want to put it as depression, as an example, that still delves back to yourself. Because to form to come out of that depressive state, family cannot help them in that respect in terms of the physically taking them out of it. There has to be some form of help from the outside, yes, but at the same time, some form of assistance from within. So that's the basis of me presenting you with the situation. In point, here are my tips for you. One, know your why. Why you want to embark on a particular journey, why you have established this goal of yours. Understand that with the passing of time, your why can change. That is fine. It can be evolved. That is fine. But know your why. Next point. Make the first step. If your task is to start a business, then obviously you make certain plans. You think it through. And once you have thought through your plan, if the issue is money, then obviously you try to think of the best way to make the necessary step without breaking the bank. In my way, I say there's always a way around. That's, that's a way that I have my mindset on things. So there is always a solution. You may have to go a little deeper. You may have to sweat a little bit more. You may have to think a little bit harder. But once you have made those necessary steps, if you will, you are going to action it. All right? So making the first step in an action way is another tip for you. Point number three is to endure. Endure specific to how you feel within. If you are embarking on a journey or on a goal, and let's just say your heart is saying to you, yeah man, don't give up. Because let's just say the light is at the end of the tunnel, then endure. But if you are embarking on that same goal, and let's just say you feel within that there needs to be a change. You feel within that this is no longer of interest to you. Then don't necessarily endure because that's going against how you inherently feel. All right? And as such, that's just going to create a lot of internal negatives. So it's all about enduring, but at the same time being fluid, being flexible in your pursuit, being in a way where you are listening to yourself. All right? And then once it's a case where you have that, that grasp of endure, then obviously you also enjoy enjoy the process it's not i mean you most would have seen and you most would have heard of many motivational speeches out there that says you know enjoy the process is not just about the destination well from my point of view from my personal journey there is some truth to that and that is what i want to pass on to you as well that if you are tasked or if you have set out on a meaningful goal on a fulfillment filling goal and it takes years or no matter how long it takes it takes a lot out of you to bring it into reality enjoy the process enjoy the process try to find a way to enjoy the process even if you're sleeping on the road even if it's a case where you have become bankrupt, even if it's a case where you're laden with debt, then 
enjoy the process because as it is, you know that there is an end. And you know you have the capacity to overcome that 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 internal strength, that internal grit, that belief. That is the thing that ultimately will help you or to have you stand above your current setbacks. See? Enjoy the process. When people back out, enjoy the process. When you have no food to eat, enjoy the process. See? These are my impactful tips for you. I hope that these can be timeless tips for you. I hope that these tips for you can not just be for you, but can be for even those that are within your immediate space and can also be for others generally that will come across you in your life. See? New you resolutions. Go through.